Hello all, welcome to Medical Equipment Explained. If you've ever wondered how the equipment used on you works, this is for you. The topic today is blood oxygen saturation with a device known as a pulse oximeter. This device can fit on the tip of your finger. It determines how saturated your blood is with oxygen and also captures how many beats per minute your heart is pumping that oxygenated blood around your body. Let's take a look at what's going on inside the pulse oximeter device. The primary components are going to be the light emitting diodes, or LEDs, and a photosensor. If the blood oxygen saturation can't be determined from the tip of the finger, perhaps because the patient is going to be undergoing surgery or has poor circulation around their hands, the blood oxygen level can be obtained through other non-invasive means such as an ear clip or a toe clip or in fact having a measuring device over the forehead, but most commonly it's used by the finger, any finger. Let's take another view of this particular device. So after the finger is inserted, the device turns on and the two LEDs become illuminated. They shine on the finger to the sensor underneath. As the heart beats, newly oxygenated blood is sent through the arteries and the capillaries to the tip of the finger. The oxygenated and deoxygenated blood absorb light at different wavelengths. Light can be seen through our eyes at around 700 to 400 nanometers, which is about here on the visible light spectrum. Those two LEDs that are inside the pulse oximeter emit light around 660 and 940 nanometers. So if we get a little bit closer here, we can see that those two LEDs would be on the light spectrum. Oxygenated blood absorbs light at around 905 nanometers and deoxygenated blood absorbs light at around 660 nanometers. So the device then compares how much light passes from those two LEDs and is then picked up by the sensor underneath the finger. That is then compared to a table of values recorded in the device's memory and an SpO2 value is given. How frequently the finger switches between oxygenated and deoxygenated blood will then be compared and a value is given as beats per minute, or BPM. With all that being said, the pulse oximeter is an incredible device that can fit on the tip of your finger.